Where are you at again? Well, me? Yeah. Um, well, um, still making ends meet. I mean, it's hard enough uh, to even keep my batteries running. If they run out, uh, I apologize for that. I may uh, cut this one short today. I'm still here um, trying to figure out my living situation, but I brought I brought out the gear today. Uh, clutter in here, so just mind the clutter. But I, I understand. Uh, I understand. You have, you have those good plate, paper plates, though, you know, the sturdy ones. Yeah, I was about to say. I see that you have your uh, kitchen right next to you. Yeah, you really broke out the fine china for the show, which I appreciate. Can't hear you. No, you're going in and out. Oh, Batteries geez. are running out already. I'm off to a bad start. Already. I'm off to a bad start. Okay, well, if you can you hear know, me, I, right. I can't, I can't really do but, dishes. Hey, we understand your situation. We know it's tough, but uh, you really need to get it together for the show. You're all right? ruining the show. <laughs> so, already? We haven't... Could you even call this a start? Can we cut this out? Well, no, I think that this, this no. is a good start because it really relates to the topic of uh, Mario. Because if you think about it, he always starts small. <laughs> he always starts weak. He always starts with nothing, and then he pops a shroom, and I'm so. What you really need is mushrooms in your life. Very good source of vitamin I'm D. A plug for mushrooms is what you're telling me right now. In my current situation, it's a vitamin D is all I'm saying. Magic mushrooms D. is going to help my situation right now. I don't yeah, know if they have yeah. to be so magic. Maybe I, the ones that just give you more uh, bone structure. I can't shower. <laughs> I can't shower in here. I, I just want to say though, have you ever seen where Mario lives? Oh, Mario's got a house. Mario, Mario doesn't shower, right? I guess. I thought no, he always spawned on his feet, clean... so I didn't assume he had a place where he lived. Well, I don't Mario... know. Luigi's, Luigi has a mansion. Mario has a trailer. Is that right? In Paper Mario, Mario's got a little house. They live together. They got bunk beds in Paper Mario. But but that's not real. You know, We're not counting that. So in the uh, mainline Mario I don't know. Do you think he just couch surfs? Do you think he like crashes it like toads? One more night. He's a handyman. He's like the local handyman. Like like he'll like fix their stove and he's like, hey, could I? His gloves are awfully nice and clean for a handyman. They're like, all right, all right, you can Something stay. To that. He slathers it in alcohol. <laughs> An isopropyl not... alcohol. I mean, that would work. Maybe. <laughs> Keep the dirt off. If you guys play uh, Luigi's Mansion 3, you see that Mario is kind of a slob. Because um, oh, really? Luigi, his room is nice, but when you go into Mario's hotel room in that one, there's like pizza boxes everywhere. Like Man, Mario's been there for like 10 minutes and he's already like made a mess. So, I mean, he's, he's disgusting. Well, let him live his life. He's done so much that he's usually out rescuing the world. Luigi has the free time. I guess he's time. earned it. Yeah. He's earned a mess or two. I mean, he's out here flying in the galaxy on a moment's notice. That was one game, right? Galaxy? Uh, yeah. I think we're already going to put it in the low tier. I think already. Um, hot take. Lowest tier. <laughs> well, hold on. Before we yeah. get into wait, the, wait, wait, into wait, the wait. rankings, I wanted, to, I wanted to show the viewers what really sparked this conversation here. Yes. Uh, everyone knows that the the long-awaited movie that's coming out is coming out. So I wanted to watch the trailer with everybody here. We can talk about it, get everyone's opinion, live reaction. A live reaction. Notice the uh, obvious plot holes in it already that I've noticed. Um, already. Well, yeah, this, well, is, we this is supposed to be World 1, but this looks like World 3. Right right also, world. what is this 480p shit? Oh, um, is that how they did it? Is that? Oh, that's what the my frame rate. The movie's in 480p. Yeah, that's how they filmed it. Yeah, that's how they filmed it. That's how they filmed it. That's how they filmed it. That's all the switch from the line. They shot. That's, uh, that's a cut back to Bowser. Oh, that's a cut back to Bowser. That's a cut, Bowser. Okay, so... Go to your trailer. Okay, I understand. He has, he has a moving castle. Kind of like Hal's. But it's Bowser. Oh, that's a reference. That's a reference. You're right. Cami Koopa right there. All right, let's play that back. Is that Cami Koopa? That is Kamek. Yeah. Kamek. Kamek Koopa. 
Listen. Cammy is the grandma one. You gotta listen to Cammick talk. I love his voice, yeah. Okay, is Kamek a guy or a girl? An old man. Yeah. He's a guy though. He is. He is. Okay. Yeah. The girl right. one's called Cammy. See, I thought that was Cammy. That was my bad. All right. No, you're, All good, right. you're good, bro. She, so, she's still, old. She's old. Still some consistency. Still some consistency. Still. Look at it. Okay, they they passed for that one. They passed that one. Yikes. That voice is perfect. Oh yeah. The voice worked. Now, um, this is the Super Mario 64 penguins, are they not? Yeah, yeah, they are. I was actually surprised to see them. Me too. It was a nice little reference. I saw that they deep dived, but oh yeah, did they ever have their own kingdom? No. Nope. Um, they had, they had their own galaxy. <laughs> okay, they had their own galaxy. All right, okay, all right, all right. They taught you how to swim. They taught you how to swim. Okay, okay. They, they did have. They do. They, they do have an army in the Mario Park. That Mario <gasps> Party mini minigame you're dodging the penguin. Right. That's fair. That's true. Remember That's that one? That were, and they have their own Mario Kart circuit. Okay. So the penguins had real estate in the Mario world. Yeah, so you're right. Hey, so far so good, man. I'm liking it. But then that happens. The best part about this trailer is the smirk but the then king that gives. I love that smirk. Did you guys see that? I do not. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like when the pose. thing was like charging. Yeah, I love that. Like we got him now. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. And this is really a surprising how destructive not. Bowser is. Yeah, this is usually, isn't he usually like very just peaceful? Show. I just, uh, the f it's so much fire breathing, and yes, he's usually very like. Look uh, at the texture on the yeah, but, but, but the trailer gets ruined right at this right. moment. <laughs> because Mario does not sound like that. Mario does never sounded like this. He shouldn't sound like this. This is disgusting. He looks good, though. He, he looks does look like good. good. He does look he looks, good. This is the future of HD Mario, is right here. Shut, no, that's not your voice. No. <laughs> that's a gross man. That's voice. Toad's voice. Toad was great. Yeah, Toad that's pretty much a... my yeah, shrill. No, but listen here. Kingdom, here we come. No. So, here we come? When here, here, we come. here we come. come. Here we come. Yeah, I told Jonathan, I said, what do you bet the voice is going to be like? And I'm telling him, I, he's not going to do the Mamma Mia Italian thing from Italy. I said, they're going to do probably the old cartoon thing. Mario's from Brooklyn. And he's going to talk like in a vague New York accent. And that's him saying, here we come. So it's not enough for me to judge, but I can hear it a little there. I don't know. I'm neutral on it. Though, I do, right I do wish it was a little stronger in the accent department. You know, as far as like even the Brooklyn accent should be thicker. What do you guys? A little thicker. I could uh, something, something, anything. My thing is, I just feel like it's too like he sounds like he sounds like a goddamn Pixar. Like what's that shit? Onward. Like he sounds like a goddamn old adolescent he was in on weird, yeah. team. You know what I'm saying? He sounds yeah. like a, of course a guy was. with... with the, Like, he, this is his world. He acts like he's never been here before and shit. So here's the thing I always wondered. Yeah, so I was a little... The only thing... Well, um, about this, yeah, yeah, like it being a portal movie or an origin movie, Mario's there. But the games always made it seem like, no, Mario just lives here. You know? Like, I don't know. I, I feel like Mario's been established in this world. I what is this rough. place? You know what this place is, you stupid idiot. Yeah, for, for 30 years. Idiot. For over 30 years. For over 30 here. years you've been here. I'm sorry, I'm making it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's that. just not good. <laughs> what if the, he should have? Because he should recognize that was maybe Captain Toad. I don't know. My opinion overall is that I think for what we get, I think it's probably the best version of that so far. Um, I don't know. Nothing about it really bothered me. We even get a little little tale of Charlie Day Luigi at the he end. Sounds good. But he sounds like Charlie Day, you know. But Charlie Day's voice sounds like Luigi, though. I was hoping. I was hoping they would sound 
a little more like the classic um, character. I know. Uh, you know, hopefully it will. I mean, I'm going to wait. I'm going to withhold judgment on their voices until we see the movie. Right. Or right. hear more, at least. But uh, I'm, I'm willing to give it a chance. What, what is funny, though, is that some people were sharing the uh, French dub of the trailer, and uh, the person they got in front to do the uh, French dubbing for Mario sounds like the game voice. Yeah, funny. it sounds like the cool. guy from... Charles Martinet. Maybe. I mean, it's cool. I'm just, I mean, Martinet and all this. I know I'm being a nerd about He's it. He's alive. I know I'm being we a nerd are. about we it, but it's I okay. mean, like, Toe's voice sounds good. Bowser's voice sounds good. Kamek sounds good. But for me, just okay. Mario just sounds like weird to me. Like, how he's just like, whoa. And stuff. I'm like, bro, yeah. you should be confident. Mario's never been ever not confident. That's true. He's never he's never well, been... I mean, he runs into danger. That's quite literally what he does. <laughs> well, I think that also makes it stand out more, as you kind of said, is that, like, everyone else is, like, doing this, like, great job, you know? Like, everyone else, even surprise, like, Jack Black, you know, even he, like, adapted his voice to sound, you know, deeper, more Bowser-like. Yeah. And, you know, you hear Toad, and you're like, oh, wow, they all sound great. And then Thank you get to look, you. and you're like, oh, it's... Chris Pratt. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I feel like it's like, oh, okay. Like, I'm not saying he's not trying, and it's only a couple of lines. But at the same yeah. time, we got only a couple of lines from everyone else, and I'm like, oh, good to go. That's gonna, that's gonna be perfect. The most egregious one. I now, I, grand while I don't feel that way necessarily about the Mario, the one where an animated movie where I had experience was the last scooby-doo movie what was that oh, will forte is shaggy. where it was will forte from snl doing a shaggy voice and i think uh, it sucked uh, no. um oh, i don't know no. yeah i don't want to go on that good like a whole tangent yeah. maybe pull it up but if you listen will forte shaggy voice it sounds it's not matt lillard it's not like casey Kasem. it, it sounds just like will forte barely doing a shaggy impression he's <laughs> trying but he can't Right. And I think that was inexcusable. I think that was, uh, yeah. Get them out of here. How dare that you? Was, just, that was how I felt. Broken. So you, it so was. You get it what was wrong. Shaggy. You know what I mean? It's like, don't do it if you don't want. It's not that if you, I understand if you can't do it and they really want you to be the guy. We don't know how Hollywood oh. is. I know that certain names bring certain people to certain movies. So that's Guys, why. I, what were you saying? I got a little tangent here. Speaking of wrong voices, do you look up the new voice for Kermit. Just like, uh, just Kermit, I don't know, like the Kermit new, new Muppet. Voice. That new, new uh, voice. In here, it sounds wrong to me. I, I can't stand. Muppets now in yeah. comparisons with Ker Kermit new voice. Well, uncomfortable uh, back here. Let's see. Kermit. Well, you're about to be oh, more uncomfortable yeah. than you hear yeah, wrong real. Kermit. <laughs> Once I hear this I already heard like a second of it. I'm like, whoa. It's impossible. What, what are they doing? Can't they keep these voice actors hired for more than a few years? I feel like, like Kermit, there's Kermit. a new Kermit every month. <laughs> God dang it. Wait, am I wrong So screen? much Kermit news. You guys already know Oh, wait, this. that's us. This is the wrong yeah. one. Are you about to show something you shouldn't? Uh, I, no. And it's just a bunch of dogs. Oh, no, God. Yeah, it's nice here it is. Here. Right. Classic Kermit. I'm getting real. I'm getting real Most hot. People will be familiar oh, with get your okay, face ass out of here. It's one of those. Babies, I'm just looking for like just a clip of just how he sounds yeah. now, just like, like uh, Kermit. Kermit. That's the that's the movie. That's not the one. I'm talking like really recent. Uh, I think he did voice Constantine. Is this it? Okay, let's hear him. Said he is talking through this whole thing. We're talking Yo. about him. I All right, I'm going to go on a tangent on this tangent. I'm going to go on a tangent on this tangent. YouTubers that do that, do us a favor. Put your <laughs> face in the thumbnail so I know that you want to talk. You were such a douche if you don't put your face in it because it mentally makes me think the thumbnail is a preview of everything you should expect in this clip or video. Everything. So it's when I see time. a guy in time. Kermit, Someone. I should only hear a guy in Kermit. If you want to be said in this video or be heard in this video, put your face in the video or your avatar or something. Don't be a puss like we do. and like hide we behind do. the draw of Kermit and the new uh, voice. Yeah, we do that. I'm sorry. It just bugs the shit out of me because there's so many people well, that also, like, and it's always clip. like that. 
Huh? Also, use the clip of what you're going to talk about. I mean, yeah, you click on like you know Kermit's video with Kermit's face. Yeah, you, you know, you're clicking it, and all of a sudden it's uh, Chris Pratt talking about you know the changing Kermit. <laughs> Five years, yeah. I don't yeah. Know. It's a long... <laughs> okay, maybe. Okay. That that one I think will show the one below it. Right here. The one. On... Yeah, it always like compares all the voices. Like... Yeah. Okay. okay, we'll go to the last one because yeah, how recent is that? That's classic Kermit. That's Jim Henson. And this is a mystery box. What's up, Jim? You see, if anybody yeah. can guess from the clues I give, what is in this box? That's this classic Kermit. What is in the box? Is it cookie? Uh, no, it is not a cookie. Bye-bye. Okay, let's see okay, at the yeah. end. Yeah. The end, so we can hear the... the... I want to see all the comparisons. Okay. Merry Christmas! Jim? Yeah. Kermit? Uh, what's going on? You tell us. Which one of you is the real Kermit? Me. Constantine, cut that out. What? I'm Kermit, and this is Constantine. What? Okay. That doesn't sound right either. That's not a good That's one. Right. Muppet more. Babies, I don't know. I don't. I don't watch the Muppet Babies because I'm a big boy. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm Kermit the Frog. I mean, I'm oh, so, so it is that guy. Is no, guy? this guy does Kermit, Kermit, and the other guy just does Muppet Babies. Matt Vogel does. You know what? That's yeah. the one I don't like. Yeah, Matt Vogel's Kermit is wrong. Yeah, look at him. He knows it's wrong. He knows well, this one. Yeah, I can't hear it well in this clip, but okay, you can well, turn the screen volume up. Oh, cool. I didn't know I could do that. Yeah, it's in the. I didn't know the yeah, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, I can get the new. What thing? What thing? Oh, what the heck? Me? Uh, how am I evil? Well, look, I am sorry, Constantine. I didn't know that you felt that. Oh, yeah, sure, I can get the new. What thing? What the hell? It sounds like a guy. He said that to his own performance. He said, "What the hell." He just sounds like a guy. Yeah, I hate it. I feel that. It's not... It's not ideal, bro. I mean, you gotta do it right, but that's the reason why we're doing this. We're, because uh, the movie's coming out. Yes. Are you guys gonna see the movie? Are you guys planning to see it? Or yeah, theaters, yeah, I'll probably or come out. Yeah. Are you gonna wait till it gets to stream, or are you gonna be weird and, and go to go rent on DVD? Get a DVD. You know, we, we, we need Tim, to... Tim, we can't hear you. What? what? I don't know what's up with your microphone, bro, but it sucks so much today. You gotta get that fixed, uh, bro. Uh, <laughs> you gotta get that fixed, man. We gotta start go for me for my man's mic, you know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> oh roasted. Nah, I'm just kidding. Can man. you hear me? Are you all right? Yeah. Are you, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh... Okay, uh... It's a little tough today. Uh, my battery is dying on me. Uh, maybe I'll see this Mario movie if uh, Seth Rogen doesn't ruin it for me or whoever's voicing him. Chris, Chris Hansen. Jim Hansen is voicing Mario. Okay. Actually, who? Jim. All right. So, Jim Hansen. All right, before we get into this tier list, I know we're talking about the movie a little too much, but fuck it. Who would be your ideal voice? Because I remember I was talking to my girl about this and she's like well who would you pick and i'm like eh, that's a good question everyone says danny devito but i feel like that's too rough i agree it's too, too old, rough man. it's yeah it's too not like mario is not that i'm trying to think though who would be a good me i know it's hard to think of mario with any boy yeah. jonathan's got one yeah like i feel like i would say charles do... martinet yeah like if you didn't go with charles martinet himself or you know if you... something one like celebrity pick I did think about was uh, Ty Burrell, Modern Family. You know he's also oh. that Beyond Sherman because he can kind. Of, I can imagine like him. Kind of Is he the dad? Yeah, yeah, he's the dad in Modern Family. Yeah, I can, yeah. I can see that. I can see yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, like definitely like much more mature Mario, but like you know I know Miyamoto said something like, "Oh, Mario's twenty-five. Yeah. Well, no, he's not. He's that's a lie. That's he Miyamoto. looks like he's to ever me, he be like twenty-three he's 40, years but... old. Like a to young, me, spry forty-year-old who like eats only you. vegetables, only mushrooms. Uh, so he still can jump and stuff, but he always came off as a middle-aged man to me. He never came off. Yeah, as yeah, and, that, and that's why I could picture like the type of Elvis. voice. He's got a little bit of that, like a, bit, a little deeper, you know, than I imagine. Yeah, I like so that. Can still do the whole I could hear it. I could hear it. Uh, but what a if, bit of No, it. maybe that might be too much. Maybe he would be a better Luigi. I was about to say that. Uh, that one dude from a uh, documentary now. Not Bill Hader, but... Not Bill Hader, Fred Armisen? Yeah. Oh, he's cranky. 
Wow. He's in it though. He's uh, gonna be cranky. Come oh, makes sense. He can do a lot of voices. Yeah. 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 I actually also thought of uh, Jay Barachel as Luigi too. The uh, oh, the Jay Barachel. Yeah. Dragon. Got kind of this voice. You remember Jay Barachel from like This Is the End? Oh yeah. Jay Barachel talks oh, like this. Oh wow! Now that you say that, um, what's that guy's name? Oh, he's in Pineapple Express, and this is the end. Danny McBride? Danny McBride. Danny McBride would have been a great Mario. I don't think really? That voice is I like that know, perfect timbre I'm thinking head. of that it's just deep enough and still young enough. If you're enough. New York, and he has you the want end. to do... But not even that. Yeah. Like, it, just his uh, voice. Like, if he just, just... The attitude of the confidence, hmm. the... I can hear it, yeah. I can... Just, if he was just like... Maybe do a little accent on there just so it doesn't just sound straight up like Danny McBride. But that's what uh -huh. I was envisioning when I was thinking of Mario talking. That kind of voice. I know what you mean. Yeah, something that's a little more oomph to it. Yeah, yeah. not Chris Pratt. What? Never mind. But anyway. Something with kind of a... Anyway, I can talk about that forever until I see it. And then I'll probably be pleasantly surprised. So. But we're talking about the Mario games. Now today, to be clear... We're not doing the Mario Karts, we're not doing the Mario Sports games, or the Paper Mario games, or any of the many RPGs. We're sticking to the platformers. The yeah, press no Mario press. Press. yeah, no Mario, no Hotel Mario, no C, <laughs> even though it's <laughs> a classic. Hotel Mario. Yeah. No, what about uh, the sequel? I love Hotel Mario. Though. No Mr. Game & Watch games. No, no Smash Brothers, no not Smash a Mario Brothers. game. Come on now. You to put Smash Brothers in there. You didn't put Smash Brothers? I asked for Smash. Oh, well, that's all right. Hey, shut up. And no Mario clones? <laughs> no. No Mario clones. We're starting with the OG Mario right there at the... I'm getting the hiccups. Classic Mario Brothers right there. Yep. <laughs> I love the tears. Oh, yeah. He's, he's in tears. Did not really like... Boing. Oop. These are like some of the things Oop. that I remember Mario m making the sounds, and this is obviously me trying to, <laughs> oh excuse me, phonetically make the dying sound effect. Those are the ones. Doof is like oh, I took a little <laughs> damage. Dun, dun, dun. Great. Like doof, and then <laughs> and then his jump, and then this is him having fun though. <laughs> and then just super super euphoric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Who wants to start off as I have the hiccups? Okay, really OG right Mario now. Brothers, my take. Not as good as 3. Yeah, my take. I, I think it's still, it's a solid game, but you gotta give it credit, but it's not as fun as the others. As it's, uh, what do you guys think? Age, it was challenging, but it's not nearly as challenging as the sequel, The Lost Level, was, um, uh, I, I'd say a good, a good, solid arcade game, really, because uh, back then it was all about the, the cabinets. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it's up there for sure. Okay, boing. Yeah, I think it's, you That's know, a lot, I think it's really fun to speed run, you know, run through. Yeah, yeah, point. you can run through so well now. Yeah. I remember I couldn't get past level right. two when I was a kid. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. yeah, but I felt like that was cool because level I did, I was like, oh, level three is like level one. <laughs> so I'm like, I pretty much I played the whole mean. game in my head. Obviously, obviously yeah. I never beat it's... the original game, but... It's the blueprint, you know, it, it's the blueprint, but I think the others expanded more, except its immediate predecessor, 2 is a weird one. 2 is a weird one. Which one? Super Mario 2. Which which 2? Yeah, what's the, the right 2? Because th this is the American 2. The American the 2 is a reskinned non-Mario game. I like and this for one a lot. Reason, Keep Panic, or... I like it, else? but yeah, I don't feel like it's panic. more... I don't know, it feels kind of like an imposter, though, even though I like it. Yeah, but whatever that game... I don't know. I still like playing... I think I played this... I had it's both fun. of these on Nintendo. I had all three yeah. of them on Nintendo, and I played okay. two the most, I think. Really? You're yeah. a two... Well, that's the one where you really uh, play Luigi, 
Toad. And Toad, yeah. That's yeah. why I think I like Toad, like, because I would play Toad a lot. His jump is a little higher, I think, than Mario's. What'd you say, Tim? Feeding. She was the best. She could float over the uh, gas. Yeah, Peach, yeah. Eight. Peach is clutch. Yeah, yeah. So that was that felt pretty exciting to be able to play as Peach. Progressive. We weren't just rescuing her. Yeah, that was the first game I think, in a before. What was the object of that game? What was the goal? What was the story? Can't remember. To beat Birdo. Oh, it's a dream. Yeah, it's a yeah, dream. A dream. At, the, at the end, you find out it's a dream, but the whole time you just have a final battle with Birdo, and, and I think that's where Birdo got introduced. Yeah. yeah like, I mean, bro, like, King, King, King Kermit. Or, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> King Kermit, that's right. Yeah, you have to destroy the fake Kermit. <laughs> I would personally put in Waha, but I understand objectively well, it's probably yeah. on the same tiers. But no, no I, I like hearing, though, your, your personal fondness anecdote. But now this next one, I don't think I've played the... This one? Oh, no, three I have. I'm I meant the game. The three is, is go. The three is the best one. Oh. Yeah, three is the one. It's the link to the past. What that was for Zelda, this was for Mario. Yeah, it was kind of became the definitive template. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and I remember oh, the bold three colors. On the original Mario was more defined. What? Yeah, it was on the original Nintendo. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a classic. Yeah. Well, and also too, you know, having the map was great. You know, being able to power yeah. up, you know, you get mm -hmm. that now. And those uh, skyship levels genuinely gave me anxiety and like. Oh made me yeah, hungry. they were yeah the, with the bullet bills. Oh yeah. Actually, I will. Cut There's out. like two very bad things for video games, and those are auto scrolling levels. Oh yeah, <laughs> I hate. Auto yeah, it's levels. hard. It's hard. It's a harsh game at times. It is. It is. But yeah, all those new Super Mario Brothers, they're based. Three, yeah. In a little bit of world. In a little bit of world, yes. Yeah. But what about yes, uh, the... Super Mario Land, the, the sleeper on the Game Boy? So Land is not, not the one I've played, yeah. I've not played Land. What about you guys? I played Land. It was it was fun. It's not... It feels kind of like a diet... Like, not di diet... It's like a great value Mario game. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the not, Game Boy. It's not bad. But it doesn't feel like it should. It Dream should Mario. be on the table, like a little bit, a little bit less. Both one and two. It's kind of obscure, random a little bit. It's almost like uh, staple. It, like another, it almost feels like was it uh, Link's Awakening for Mario? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Even though Link's Awakening is actually really good, but it is. It's fun. Yeah. Now, what's that second one you put there? That's Super Mario Land 2. I would put on the same. Yeah, game. just group them together, because yeah. I haven't played either one. Uh, 2 did introduce Wario. It did introduce it did. Wario, and that's what it's known for. But, he escaped uh, that alternate dimension into canon, but yeah. So, I think, you know, World is the definitely one that I think oh, more yeah. people played. Super Mario mm -hmm. World is classic. Yoshi started Yoshi. Yeah. Yeah, world is great. Sometimes world feels a little bit slippery to me, so I'm not good at world. World. It is really I, slippery, but it's different. I love watching the speed runs of world and the, all the. Hats. It looks good. And like, it looks so good. Have you guys know about Kaizo Mario World? Yeah, it's like isn't it like the ROM hack where like all yeah stuff. Yeah, it's, oh. it's funny. Like at first, I wasn't earlier before I wasn't too hot on world, but like I think it was like around like. I don't know, like, in the past uh, couple years or so, I started, I played World again when it was, like, all stuff, and mm -hmm. I kind of, my appreciation for it grew a lot, you know? Yeah. Stuff, and, you know, kind of how stuff, like, you know, unique it is, even compared to, like, the only thing I don't like about World, you know, other than, you know, what Dominic mentioned, is that, uh, the thing, this is something that three fixed from one, but one had, is that when you de get hit with a Fire Flower, back to small mm. in uh, Mario 1, mm. where in 3 it would just like take you back to the previous form, you know, so if you got hit with power up or something, you just be in your mushroom game. state, but then mm. world went back to like, you know, you get hit with a power up, you fall. Yep, and that is really yeah. punishing, it's like dang. Punishing. But, yeah. yeah. Tim, what'd you say? 
is how different two world two is compared to one because world two they just named yoshi's island yeah oh yeah, yeah. where's uh yeah world two that? i thought you meant world two inside the game wow that person doesn't know world. that they didn't put yoshi's island on here but yoshi's inside island the game, is really it's unique and it's a lot of fun in its way it's not there nah well it was on the other list but you know i understand it's it's not mario it's only got the baby mark well since super mario run yeah. sucks we can use that as a placeholder, I guess. Or we can just talk about <laughs> Well, I feel like we need, though, some in the lower tier because most of these games, I think, we're going to be pretty generous towards. Oh, I mean, yeah, most of especially them Super good. Mario 64. It should be tough here. I mean... Okay, I'm going to be tough on 64. I think I know... I feel like the camera ruins it a lot. I know. I think I would have to put it in Waha. Yeah. Look, it's a classic. I'm not dissing its importance at all i i, I really it's shown that the honest, gaming industry yeah. had to be 3d yes but i'm gonna be honest i grew up playing the one on ds the, you know there was a ds remake of it and it improves on a lot yes. from it you can be a it yoshi yeah you get more characters you can get some levels and it controls a little time yeah yeah 64 is still great yeah, yeah. I, I love like trying to you know speed i try i love trying to like speed on it you know or at least try to get to like 60 as fast as i can which in the original is easier to do than you know because you swap around characters and remember the speed runs where people would exploit the glitches oh, yeah i wouldn't quite do that but like no. yeah. No, yeah those are crazy cool. though it's a oh, yeah. to be good at 3d was <laughs> mario hmm. yeah so, moving on in 3D, obviously Sunshine's going to go up in Super. It's my favorite Mario game of all time. I think we got some bias here because yeah. uh, Sunshine is good. Now, I, it's the only one I've only played bits here and there. John's played it. Now, Tim, what do you think? Oh, oh Tim? Tim, are you there? Oh, oh, gosh, he was right. He warned us. He said his battery is low. I, I thought that was a bit. <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah, me too. I thought it was on his microphone too. I didn't know if it was. His, uh... I think he was. I thought unless he's being very dedicated to the bit right now, very. I can't believe my hiccups are gone. This episode is going to be crazy to listen back to so far, but uh, it will be because Tim is just gone. Yeah, gone. Uh, well, well, well. Yeah. I don't know what he thinks about Sunshine. I personally like Sunshine because I feel like. Platforming in Mario obviously is fun. Flipping is fun, but the added parts of basically having a water fuel jetpack adds That's so cool. much fun to platforming, and you can do all these little cool things that people are still figuring out to this day. Uh, it does well, look cool. I like like uh, I didn't know this, but uh, and uh, maybe you guys knew this, but if you sprinkle the ground in front of you and belly slide, you can pretty much belly slide anywhere for like infinitely and pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh wow. I didn't know that. that and then if you cool. if you hit like R, like double tap it real quick, it gives oh. out a big spray burst, and you can save water and hit more stuff. Okay. It's like there's so many little technical things you could just play vanilla and very casual, and that's still fun. Or you can get really in depth with the hoses and. It's Figure definitely the, cool the one you can do. for people our age. There's a lot of the GameCube, and for a lot of people our age, it's Mario. Yeah. Their first main one. Yeah. And it's funny because this was much like with World. This was another one. when I first did it. There was a lot I really, you know, did not really like in it. But like mm -hmm. when I played it again in 3D All Star, 100 again, the game experience did kind of grow on me. Even though like unlike with World, experience with some and I can still see kind of for lack of our term the BS of the game. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. For I me that. for me, Sunshine though, even though it's a bitch to one hundred percent, you know, sorry, <laughs> it is also like kinda of like part of the experience. Like I feel like with Sunshine, you know, even more than like Sunshine and others, completing the game gives you a story. Like you just yeah. have a story playing. You have like when the watermelon level gives you a story. Oh my goodness. Sandburn or you know it's the like punishment those notorious levels yeah experience 
So yeah, oh, look who's I, back. That's a good. Uh, that's a good point you make there, Jonathan. Because uh, like, a lot yeah. of people play Mario games like, oh, it was fun. <laughs> like, oh my god, these hiccups. But like Super Mario sixty four, a lot of people can be like, oh, I I really had a lot of fun. But a lot of people can't say moments in Mario games mm-hmm. like with Sunshine. Like a lot of people remember, oh, I was twelve and I was doing this level in Sunshine. Shine, and I was this close to the su- whatever, and then this hit me, and then that hit me, and then I died right then. Like it's punishing, but it does. It, for some reason, it creates moments that stick with you, like gaming moments. Mm-hmm. Now, and to be fair, I'd still probably say I'd probably put it below sixty-four for myself personally. You know, I'm more of a sixty-four that. galaxy person. Sure. I I kind of grown to appreciate some things in Sunshine more. You know, you know, and I do have fun with it. Like, kind of messing because. Again, it's kind of this thing where it is like the flaws kind of make it special. Right? I get that. And it's really fun to watch lots. Let's let's hear about Tim's experience with Sunshine. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, sorry about that. My phone pretty much melted. I was uh, experiencing some possible heat flashes there. Um, so I'm back in a new spot in my uh, in my home here. Uh, now I see that we're talking about Sunshine, which is at the appropriate super level. Um, okay. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Can yeah, you you're, you're right? fine. How are we doing yep. today? Okay. All right. So Sunshine, of course, has a lot of memories for me. I grew up around that time. The exploration, the, the difference with the flood mechanic was very important and different at the time. Um, but the integration with EGAD, with the ongoing uh, mansion series, made it worth it and made sense to me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, of course, uh, having... Having Peach be the mother to this creature oh. is a little weird, but now uh, I think about it, don't mean to cut it's... your opinion off. Sorry for cutting your opinion off. No, no, off, no. But Mario no, had no, the no. mop. Luigi had the vacuum. Whoa, they they're servicemen. The servicemen. Oh my god, I didn't even think I didn't even link that at all. To this day, they, they both on the GameCube. Yeah, That's both crazy. on the GameCube. They really were servicemen. Wow. All right, continue. Sorry. But, you know, I just really like this one. I think it's deserving of Super. Um, um, well, there we go. Still, and, and still moments without the flood, and it gets to some classic platforming Mario that we all know and love, and those levels were great, too. Yeah. Well, there we go, then. That is the part <laughs> I will say, I think, is a little weaker. I think, I think when you do lose flood, you know, Mario just feels a little more barren than he does, like, in 64. Like, you can tell he doesn't have you, you, do you know, feel the moves it. and stuff are missing. Without flood, you don't get a lot of those, you know, the infinite... Uh, you know. Mm. Also, well, you're outvoted. Also, also introduces Bowser Jr. and also yeah. uh, yep. introduces Dark Liquid Mario. Oh, the Chucksters. Oh. The Chucksters. <laughs> and the Chucksters. Introduces the Chucksters. All right, now Boy. moving on to Galaxy since that was mentioned. I never played Galaxy. Okay. I played a demo of it. Uh, I think it looks cool. My girl played it. Both of them, and she enjoyed yeah. it. Um, for me, I feel like sometimes it, it it feels like maybe a little too new school for me. Like, I'm like, oh, there's too many, like, jumping from mini platform to mini platform. So many different yeah. angles that I got to keep up with. It's wild. Changes it's... I got to keep up with. So I can't I'll tell I'm you not gonna take it away from that because I never played it fully. So Well, it's it feels more natural when you're playing it. I, I, gotta, I think it's a top tier Mario. Oh, it's definitely. I think definitely it's got the best soundtrack of probably almost any game uh, i've heard oh, oh man oh, oh, oh that exists man. Orchestral. tim yeah i mean i think tim agrees oh, okay. it belongs top tier Super. it's there's uh something, there's i absolutely agree there's something about these 3d mario games when the mainline ones when they come out they put their best people on them there's like no way yep. to like Oh, he he's not going through objects. There's no like weird glitches here and there. That's it's so yeah. tightly polished. And, and Mario yeah. Galaxy is this game. They did what they could with the Wii, and they still made it look amazing. Uh, Josh, yeah, you might. I, I mean, I'll tell you, Josh. If you haven't, you might actually prefer two, the first one, because two actually has more platforming sections for Mario. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and two is very much Galaxy 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 Galaxy. Galaxy. There it is. There it is. Yeah, two is very good. Yeah. And that's on there? There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and two has Yoshi, too, and I really like that. Yeah, and two brings in. Yeah. And the. Yeah. 
Yoshi plus all the Yoshi power ups, which were great. I love the chili yeah. power. Oh, and and Yoshi can completely break Galaxy too as well. There's like a glitch people have done with like <gasps> Yoshi, you know, where you can like basically skip full sections, you know, and like get certain heights oh, using no. flutter jump. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, flutter jumps. That, that sort of takes away from the polish uh, bit that I mentioned earlier. But you know what? It took him. It took him. Um, it took him. Uh, Yoshi plus probably uh, a lot of testing to get that done. Um, hmm. And uh, obviously, uh, that's why it should get a. Hey, Tim, but you're, you're heating up again, I think, because you're freezing up. And you... oh god, I'm freezing up, and I'm you're heating oh, up because no. you're freezing up. I don't know, you know. Okay. Only in 2022 uh, does that make sense. Make sense. Apologies for the technical difficulties today, folks. I'm I'm finding a place to live. Okay. Any takers? Any real Please. estate agents out there? I don't know, help a yeah, boy out. Galaxy, everything is great. So both galaxies are S tier. I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. I mean, galaxy Two is basically the same as Galaxy. I I pretty I, much have no. Comp- I don't I'd probably know. say Galaxy. experience overall, I think. Yeah, okay. yeah. I I hear that. On, on the first Galaxy. Now Super we get into. Yeah. I think super underrated series that I, I think I agree. split the fan base. If we get to the new Super Mario Bros. Uh, series, I think all of these I'm, are great only because of the multiplayer I, aspect. It was something that I've I always wanted. I, I agree. Uh, I, in Mario and playing with my sister back in the Nintendo absolutely. when we were playing Mario Bros. Mm. 2 player. That's what we envisioned and we're super uh, disappointed when it was just a take turn type of two player. And it was that way for the longest time until the new Super Mario Bros. series. So I wouldn't say they're as good as these ones up here though. Just because they are just like a reimagining, it feels like, of what classic Mario should have and could have been. Uh, but what do you guys think? I, I would put them more in the Waha boing, depending on which one we are looking at. Enemies do a little dance, and I don't like that. I like how you can tr- control. I think we, all three of us, had a lot of fun playing at Tim's, uh, Tim's house in high school, uh, trolling each other while playing through levels and... Oh, hey, that's right. I, I remember the ultimate troll we did on one of our friends, Mr. Adams, when we showed them the, uh, it was like a, pre- they had preview videos of how you should be the level, like the most skilled way, and we said that was a recording of us. Or we, we and no, we, we, did, we did even better, we acted it out. Like, we, uh, we're like, okay. <laughs> we, we faked it. Yeah, we knew, we knew what was going to yes. happen, so we're like, all right, so I'm about to do this, and then you're so like, I'm, yep, I got it. I'm, I'm passing, I'm passing, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. passing. And he was like, no way you guys are doing this. I was you like, guys are, you guys are so good. This is funny because he's like, he, he grew up on, you know, the whole different side of the game, like Halo and shooters and stuff. So it's, Mario was not what to his, expect. Exactly. So I had to do it from a little um, bit. But what would you guys It was a great, a great bit of trolling there. No, I put this pretty high still. Okay. But then again, like, I'm sort of noticing a trend here that uh, there's a lot of these that are going, going really high. The, yeah, because the, the tier what, list. We're seeing why Nintendo's on top. Uh, we're seeing why Nintendo's on top. Generation, <laughs> we're experiencing the best of the best. And now Dom and them. Now Dom and them have escaped. This is gonna be the most interesting podcast. Listen back to them. So listen back. When am so, I gonna uh, listen back? I just wanna. I just wanna take a second to apologize for these technical difficulties today, folks. Mario um, is taking us out one me. by one. Oh, we can hear uh, you. Um, well, I just wanna apologize for the technical difficulties today. You know, there's been a lot of them. Episode um, 25, right on the dot. 25. We're we're better than ever, folks. Trust us. Please just trust us. Please just trust us. Please. Just take our take our word for it. We're doing this Mario stuff as well as we can. Uh, news. Okay, I, I will do this though. I will do this. New Super Mario Bros. Just on Nintendo DS gets gets a gets a waha just because it's on DS because Mario Bros. Wii and Wii U. Of, those are the S tiers, just because you get a little bit, bit, bit more screen ratio, a little bit more graphics there, um, frame rate, a little more memory, a little more stuff going on, and you know, I'm, I'm sure Super Mario Bros. on DS was perfectly fine, I, people out there, but I think that now there's 3DS. You know, I like that too. Um, Super Mario Brothers Two. It built off the first one. I never played this one, but I, I know the gimmick with this was you can collect a lot of coins. Yeah, it looks like so, it just from the cover. 
just from the cover alone, it looks golden in color. So this one can get probably a lot. I think it's just as good, but I never played this version because I was bored of the formula. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. I like, mean, at, at this, this time, it's there 3DS, was, you know? There was a Wii version. There was a Wii U version. There was a Switch version. It's just, there was a Luigi U. There's too much of that. There's yeah. too much of that. It's like, yeah, let's just move on. You got to move on at some point. Uh, oh, wow. They did, they had one on. Oh, they had a deluxe version. Yeah, I'm telling you. Okay. Yeah, even on the Switch. And it's like, okay, well, another one. Like, well, I'm sure we that this one's and... good. And so, because this one is the I deluxe of this, this one, best... this one is this. Yes. No, but yeah, they say this back. is the best version What's up? of it. Um, we're just covering the new Super Mario Brothers series here, and which ones are better, and which ones Sorry are Sorry about worse. that. Sorry about all that. Can you hear me? Yeah, no, um, we can okay. hear you. I mean, you okay, see, yeah, sorry, my computer, see. yeah, just, I think the battery got low, you know, uh, normally it's fine, but the battery uh, is not what it used to be. I thought I had enough to finish the show, but then it just, I don't know, it got hot, it stopped, uh, it, 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 Tim is... There might be something going weird with my camera here, guys. <gasps> oh, are you just messing around, is that, or is it really doing I that? I think that uh, there's just a lot of technical difficulties today. <laughs> Sorry about this. I thought you were really in a '90s grunge rock music video. No, <laughs> we need it black and white. Like it's Sonic. Yeah, yeah. Sonic has possessed the chat. <laughs> we got the butt rock for uh, for Mario. Now. <laughs> I was going to say, um, here's the thing. Uh, yeah, sorry I missed the discussion on New Super Mario Bros., but I think they're really good. I agree. Um, uh, New Super Mario Bros. DS, the first one, uh, it takes me, I'm nostalgic for it. It reminds me of being in Florida in summer of 2009. I played that a lot, even though it had been out for a while. Uh, and actually, I just decided to kind of replay it because I was feeling like revisiting it again. Uh, same with the second one. And I think we have the Wii U one at home. And, and as well as we do not, I, I do not have the Dulux one on, uh, on Which Switch. Which is like the ultimate, the ultimate version. She's like, has all the It's a little too ultimate all, for me. Huh. All the DLC. And... Well, my thing is, the reason why we're ranked like this is to catch up. I put a DS just because of the machine it's on. I'm assuming we would be a better experience compared to DS. And I know that they're, they're kind of parallel games. Uh, two, I put on there for the same reasons. And uh, mm -hmm. just it being on okay. the 3DS. Not that the 3DS is a bad console or a bad machine. It's just the, 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 the fact that if you're playing multiplayer, it's easier when you're on a console. And we got a bigger screen so you can see a lot more. And I figured since Deluxe is a remake of you, uh, but a lot better, Deluxe should be there, and um, Mario Bros. should be brought down to Waha. Just to, you know, I'm happy with that. Like, I am happy with that. That's the logic. Not saying nothing against them. I feel like the new Super Mario Bros. series is a, a so much fun. If you've never played it, get at least two other people to play it with you and troll each other the whole time. So much fun. <laughs> it was. And, um, and and we we did get them pretty good there. Yeah, we did. Uh, I never played the 3D Lands or 3D set. World, so I'm going to have to just take your ah. guys' words on these. Okay, so World. here's the thing. Yeah. 3D Land is really good. The, the main levels are very easy, but the special levels are very hard. Um, it's fun. I don't think it's one of the best Mario games, but uh, I like it. Uh, it's at least a Boing or a Waha. Okay. Um, Set the sta it's at the stage for the coming series. Yes. Um, I think 3D land uh, World, uh, or as we used to call it back in the day, Third World, um, <laughs> when it came out. Yeah. Uh, I remember playing that at your house, Tim. We had a lot of fun with that. Uh, I think it's a terrific game. Um, I don't know. It, yeah, it belongs in Waha or Super. It's, it's really good. All right. A great co-op game. You can verse each other or you can win together uh, in that way. Um, 
and see who gets more points at the end or, or, or just finish the goal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're exactly who has, like, yeah, like the best suit at the end. And yeah, yeah Josh. It'll, it'll, do a little, it'll do a little count up at the end. No, I, I don't. I only have it for Wii U, so we don't have the Bowser's v, uh, Fury expansion <laughs> pack. Yeah. yeah, I don't know this one. Yeah, I don't. It, I, I, I'm sure it's cool. It probably belongs right next to it, but yeah. yeah. I'll put them together. You know, it can only be expanded. There's an expansion it. pack so, on it, though. Yeah, okay. It's just, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's just know, not a whole new. Okay. Not a whole new. Okay, okay Mario Maker. Is, the emulators on Switch. The emulators yeah. on Switch. Uh, yeah, I've it's just it's just the collection. You know, it doesn't look that bad. I, I have it. Bad. Um Yeah, my girl has it. Oh, okay. Has she had any issues? She played all of them so it's fine, it seemed like. Except Same here. Sunshine, we thought there was issues, but her brother is a god at Sunshine and he beat it just as fast as he usually does and with no problems he said, so it was just us we Interesting. we came to conclude, so if all of these are in Super or oh, close to it, might as well put the whole collection in Super, too. Right. Logic is sound there. All right, moving on to the Mario Makers, when they let us become the developers, when they gave us the reins. This tier list is going to be very, like, top-loaded. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, that, that just speaks to how well, how well Nintendo handles the Mario uh, franchise. They usually don't try to put rink and dink games out. Unless the side usually. ones, the main ones, they usually try to, you know, have give the best experience they can. Yeah, yeah, put their best uh, team members forward on it. I don't yeah, think I think it's a it's a brilliant idea for a game. I think people get really creative with it. So the super waha. I spent way too much. I time feel like there was a game. moment in Mario Maker just because of the game grumps is uh moments i mean mm -hmm. let's play that everyone got oh, too man. obsessed with Shouts trying out. to make the hardest thing possible though well that's the thing some people just got like really trolly with it to where i mean i guess that's the point you do make a basically unbeatable level and if you want to play those kind of levels or make them uh but i do like they have a rule you can't upload it unless you can beat it yourself yeah i do like that yeah that makes it yeah, not a troll, because otherwise it would just be full of things you can't do, you know? Exactly. Then be like, what's the point of playing it? Right. People would I just think, troll people. I think they put a lot of love into the amiibo side of things. Uh, you could, like, turn into Link or Yoshi and pretty much play as, like, all the Smash characters and stuff. That is true, and I like... Is that one or two where you can pick different sprites and actually play as, like, Link and oh, Kirby and stuff through Mario Maker? Actually, that's the t two has more in depth link uh, uh, costumes, but uh, the first one has more costumes. It's just that, like, you can shoot arrows and stuff um, with link. Uh, there's a tri there's a triforce power up. Uh, I thought there was oh Mario Maker where you can change the sprite itself to be a different Nintendo character, but maybe I was dreaming. I don't know. It should be the first first or second. I just can't remember which. Well, hmm. well, you know, we'll have but, but, that but, one in this since this one's the better one, right? Super. I agree. Oh uh, yes, yes, yes. More. It's the same game, but they added more materials. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just the improved version. So yeah. this is our very top heavy. <laughs> Because oh, yeah. they make good games. <laughs> they just, they this just, is their... I mean, like, if we did this, uh, if we did any Nintendo franchise, I'm sure that no. it's going to be pretty much top. Like, if we did Zelda, I'm pretty sure a lot of them would be top. Yeah, I like games. most of the games. Like, it's quality. Yeah. It's tough to... Now, here's Odyssey. Odyssey. The big one. The, the big oh, one shit. of... of we just put it at the bottom. <laughs> We're just like, yeah. F it. I haven't played it. Haven't so, played have we it all played it? I haven't played oh, it. Oh, you haven't? Um, it's... Oh, it's great. It's very good. It's <laughs> Spoiler amazing. alert, it rocks. Um, <laughs> um, you know what? I would maybe put it in Waha. Per Here, here's the thing. It's very oh. good. It does feel, uh, maybe it's just me, it does feel a little short. Maybe it's just me. I don't know, Tim. Maybe you know it's because I'm older. Right. 
it's a it, there's a huge after game, but the after game is sort of. I wish they would add new worlds or something. But yeah, they don't. it's just go back to the same worlds over and over. So. And the worlds are big, so that's nice. Sure, sure, but but, but yeah. at the same time, there's not a lot of them, and you do no. Do so they give you some new fun like mini games to do in the world, like the balloon run is pretty Luigi. fun. Yeah, yeah, like that's fun. It incorporates the online aspect. Uh, yeah. Aesthetically, it's kind of all over the place because a lot right. of the worlds look like Mario games, but every now and then there's a level, like New Donk City has people that look like they're from The Sims. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then, yeah like and the realistic the people. And then there's like a dragon that looks show. like it's from Skyrim or something. Hmm. What? Oh. Yeah, yeah, the dragon boss. Is a dragon? Oh, there it yeah. is. It is, it is yeah. It, it's just odd. It's it's like it is. It's almost Kingdom Hearts esque how different <laughs> each world is. Oh, the dragon thing. Jonathan just <gasps> told me that you heard that? <laughs> yeah. He voices yeah, the dragon yeah. In Skyrim? Charles Martinet, he does the little he does the growls and boy, what oh, range. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah for what, real. A, what a true talent. Too bad he doesn't get the fucking bag. <laughs> <laughs> get you a man who can do both. So the only bad Mario game ever is Super Mario Run, just because there's not much to it. Exactly. I agree. Yeah. Exactly. And it's pay pay to win. So here's our and list, that's... Joe. Yeah. It's that shit right there. What were we about to say about it? And what you. I just wanted to say sorry again for the technical difficulties today. No, and I'm sorry. I know this has been uh, an interesting episode, a little little techno curse here. Uh, I, I know I updated my Mac not that long ago, and it it's fine, but it I think it runs a little hotter than it used to, and uh, oh, just I like don't love my that. Phone. Just you like this self-destruct update. Yeah, yeah, it's but uh, thankfully, you know, the, the stream is running fine and all that. Uh, yeah, because mine's on Windows, so I use a Windows oh. PC computer. I don't know if that makes any computer. difference. I don't know. I don't know if that provides a difference or if that makes it a little better or worse. I don't know. Like, well, I currently oh, don't sorry. have a place to plug in a computer to right now, so I have to be mobile here for this. Um, so I apologize for the for the little bit of chaos in my life recently. It's just a little bit embarrassing. It's just a little embarrassing when we have a brand to protect and you're doing it out of your car and and you're making us look unprofessional. Well, pass the buck a little bit. I asked you for money, and I, I didn't get a response. I, there's a I'm very chat. embarrassed. It's very embarrassed. It's hard to be put on the spot like that. You know, I'm only an artist. And you do what you can, and I, I, I just, I would appreciate some. You could say no, just nobody. There's a, there's a, a, a group, a group message uh, called Tim needs help. Not one person's responded. I, 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 I don't. My phone keeps dying, so maybe I have a message here um, that I need to check because it's hard to be. It's just hard to keep a charge. Well, how about how about we make a GoFundMe? How about we make a GoFundMe? Yeah, GoFundMe right now. Donate. Donate some clothes because it's hard to take a shower. I have to throw them out. Thank you. Well, that's wasteful. <laughs> I just throw them away. I just throw them away at the end. It you have to get new drip that you have to pay. He needs new designer Yeezys. Just, uh, something cool. Make it cool. Don't <laughs> give me some cheap ass hand me down. Designer. <laughs> He's got to get... Please. Please. He's got to get a... Supreme. He's got to... Oh, my God. I, I, I need some Supreme. Uh, um, any... We can't... So, so... Don't, get, don't give him any clothes from Goodwill. He'll get mad. I'll get... I'll get... I, I'll, I'll know. I'll be able to tell. Yeah, we will block you from the Goodwill? server. You just charge him. We don't even like our listeners to wear... Um, Donated like clothes to be to honest. Nothing when you listen to this podcast, you get completely nude and turn it on every time, no matter where you're at work, school. The nudist, village. I like that. Yeah, I like that too. And make yeah. sure you also put a picture on Twitter and tag us and make sure you hashtag Glow Bear Gang so we trend it and we'll put it in a compilation in our next episode. Yeah, well, and then we'll rate, we'll rate you. <laughs>
Just like we we'll did give... this fucking uh Sand Brandon tier. Mario. We're gonna we're gonna put all the It's we're not body shaming, the... it's body we're rank advice. you. It is, it's tier, it's Judging completely how, how different. Much supreme you send me, you will go higher on the tier list. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So pay up what you what you owe us, frankly, for this. Because we come here week after week, ranking and and doing doing this. Uh, I'm breaking my back for you. I'm I'm giving it all I have. This is hard. This is this car up here, really and hard. we just gotta follow right after that. Thank you guys. Thank you. What a time on that. I think we're gonna put him. He's already this at the top top yeah, tier up. follower. Top tier. Um. Show us your body on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Now send us a picture of you. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not that one. <laughs> we're not. All right, y'all. But not, uh, this was the Mario. This was the Mario. Oh god, we're not gonna get into that sorry, right at the end. Yeah, no, okay, this is the Mario, this is Mario tier list. Uh, I'm, I'm Josh. Dot you way the Kirby. Sometimes make sure you check out the link tree in the description to find out everything I'll be up to. I got something coming too that's gonna be hot as shit. So really watch out. Thanks for um, watching. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just really sorry, you guys. I'll, I'll I'll do better. I'll be better. Please send me supreme merchandise, and maybe <laughs> I'll I'll get some money for selling it or something. Thank you. Um, I just want to say. Um... Chef Shoes no longer affiliated with um, the gang oh, after. Right. Um, I don't know that guy. Yeah, yeah, he. Uh, we, we're we're still processing the trauma of the uh, of the falling out, but uh, you know we're, we're we're excited about moving forward. Um, it's a new era. Uh, you know, I think once Tim gets back on his feet. Uh, things are going to be really uh, things are going to be really looking up for us. I'm uh, yeah. Dom Cellini. You can find me at Dom Cellini Art on Twitter or Dom Cell on Instagram. I mean, back on his feet or his hands. Either one. This dude needs to get up off the ground. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs>